Hello everybody. Uh, we're going to be solving another problem for microprocessor as an example. And it goes as follows as you can see. Design a memory that can hold 256 kilobyte of data using 64 kilobyte RAM blocks in such a way that addressing is done byte by byte with one byte output port. Use an appropriate size decoder and the necessary logic gates that are needed for this design. The base address is C0000. So C with four, five zeros. In order to approach a problem such as this one, obviously the base zero matters. So we go C0000. Zero, 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 zero. And each one of these because it's hex, it's four bits. Four zeros here, four zeros there, four zeros here, another four zeros, another four zeros, and then the C, which is one one zero zero for binary in binary. Now the question was asking to create a two hundred fifty six kilobyte. 256 kilobyte uh, memory block using 64. So, in other words, we need four of these 464 kilobyte RAM to create this. That's the first one, and each one has its own enable button or pin. One, two, three, and then finally four. So four of these. Obviously, total our two fifty six kilobyte. Now, because we're using sixty four kilobytes, we will need a decoder to access these. Uh, memory devices individually to output your uh, byte worth of data one at a time. So it's uh, as we said here, uh, addressing is done byte by byte with a one byte output port. So each one will give you one byte output, etc. And we need to create. Obviously, we need a two by four decoder to access this this these different RAM and 2x4 decoder so it has four different outputs and obviously two different out inputs to create that 2x4 decoder and each of these decoders will generate different input enable not enable and enable actually so each output of this decoder will be connected to a separate de uh, memory device enable so if uh, zero zero is selected so if zero zero were selected here, uh, if if zero zero were were the inputs to the selection here, to the input, if zero zero uh, is used, then the first output will be selected. If it's zero one, then the second one, and one zero the third, 
the and then one one the fourth will be selected. Now, where this base addressing coming from, or how is it going to be used? Again, these base addressing, just how we did in the previous tutorial, if this was considered A1, this will go all the way to A24. So obviously I have A1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 address lines. We have to know where they go in this circuit that we have. Now, of course, the 64 kilobyte memory requires 16 bits to address those each 64 kilobyte memory block. So hence the from A1 all the way to A16 or A15 will be primarily used for the address so we can put it right here A1 all the way to A16 address lines will be connected to the same ones will be connected to the, the individual memory devices as such and obviously This line is a 16 line value. 16 line bus. So now we got we've used 16 of these address lines from this base address. So this it starts at, at ba the base address basically it starts at 00. It can go all the way to 11111 for the different combinations that you can access these. Uh, memory location in each of these individual RAM blocks. Now obviously a 2x4 decoder requires two address lines to be connected. So we used A1 up to A16. Now we have A17 and A18 will be used and it's going to be these two obviously to, to uh, access your to give us input your 2x4 decoder to access the different outputs. So for example if 00 is selected this one will be selected and, reg and uh, depending on what the address lines A1, A1 to, one, to A16 are chosen then that address location will be used. For example if it's all zeros here from A1 to A16 is all zeros then the first uh, byte of data will be accessed. and in another example, if 0, 01 was selected here for the decoder, then the second RAM will be selected, which is this one. And if A1 up to A16 is still a all zeros, then the first byte of uh, stored here, first byte of data stored here, will be accessed here in your output. Now we've acknowledged all of these. We've remained. We're remaining with this one. You can use purple. With these final one, two, three, four, five, six bits that is composed of partial zero and the whole C. Now these we know they, they have to be fixed. They're not going to change just like these decoder outputs and decoder inputs and the and the address lines input. Because to access just like how we did in the previous tutorial, to access the decoder here, for this decoder to be enabled, we need a specific circuitry that we do not actually have to change that doesn't change for this to be enabled and in this case we know 110000 are the bits that are, that are going to be used to, to create our circuitry just like I did last time the ones have to be the inputs to AND gates and the zeros have to be in the inputs to the NOR gates to the NOR gate to, to enable that decoder so in this case you have uh, one a one here to the end gate. So 
So those are your last two A's, which is A24 and A23. Basically, A24 and A23 will be your input to the AND gate. Now the remaining ones will be they will be inputs to the, to the NOR gate which in turn is the input to the AND gate. So you have four of these inputs and each one represent the address that are remaining. So we used up up to 17 here, up to 18 here for the decoder and then you get 19, 20, 21, 22 for the NOR gate and a 23, 24 for the AND gate. So we go A19, A20, A21, A22 for the, for the NOR gate. So this one actually, so if you see it here, it's a 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. So you have 1, 1 going to the end gate, and all zeros NORD, so all 1's will be here. And then you have a 1, and this is enabled only when... 110000 are applied to the circuitry. So this uh, actually answers the question that we had. Uh, basically, designing a 256 kilobyte memory block using uh, 64 kilobyte RAM blocks and having a base address as C00000. I hope this helps and good luck on your exam.